Folks, today's video is going to be awesome. We're going to give you the 2022 gift giving guide from the Stony Ridge Farm Channel and our friends at Northern Tool. If you are a tool addict, you're going to love this video. Hey there, folks. This is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the holiday gift giving guide for that toolophile in your family. This video is brought to you in part by our friends at Northern Tool and Equipment. Northern Tool and Equipment is a family owned business. I stand by them. They are the best friend a farmer like me could ever have. So guys, come along today as we talk about all these awesome gift ideas for you, your family, and the Tulo file in your household. I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. Welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. If this is your first time or your 50 millionth time here, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back. We are in the mega shop here on the Stony Ridge Farm. And the Stony Ridge Farm is a 150 acre first generation farm project. In order to accomplish all the stuff that we need to do here on the Stony Ridge Farm, we have to have awesome tools right tools have to get the job done so these are my recommendations for you guys if you are buying tools for that tool addict that is in your family so there are tons of cool tools right here on this table there's also a cool tool right here on the cart and i'll show you all this stuff this is great food for thought for that guy or gal that loves tools has a little workshop does a few things and or runs a business like a handyman business a side business something to earn a little bit of money and every tool here you can earn money with so without further ado let's just start picking tools off and i'll show them to you tell you what they're all about this is the theme of the day milwaukee milwaukee is the theme that bag was empty by the way so all through here we're just going to kind of go from right to left all the way around and what we have here are a lot of Milwaukee tools. I'm a huge fan of Milwaukee tools. I used to be a huge fan of a few other brands. However, once you go Milwaukee, it is hard to go back. Guys, post a comment down there. Tell me what you think. Love Milwaukee tools. So what we've got going here are a few different Milwaukee tools. We'll just kind of walk you through. They sell some of these in sets, and I'll post a link to the Northern Tool website. Anything and everything that you see here in today's video, you can find on Northern Tools website and you probably can get it before Christmas. Let's hope you do. All right, so without further ado, let's talk a little bit about some things that I use every single day here on the farm and in the mega shop. Again, this is the mega shop. This is a 112 by 50 foot gigantic shop, 24 feet tall, and we're gonna be doing some awesome projects. A couple weeks ago, we installed a tuxedo lift right over here from Northern Tool, and this, is the extravaganza. You'll see some other stuff on here like an anvil and a few other things and I'll show you what's behind here under the cover when we get done. It's a vintage Toyota pickup so stick around to the end. The first thing I want to show you is something that I use on the farm very frequently. I had an old one it let go on me and as I do a little more fabrication here on the shop and I build a few more projects like woodworking projects with metal frames and such like that this is an instrumental tool for that. So sliding this guy forward, this is a chop saw from Iron Ton, Iron Ton. There's also an Iron Ton roll around cart. This is awesome. This is a little roll around cart that you use around your shop. You can sit down on it. You can work on your wheels, your brakes, everything like this, this is the most used stool in the shop right here. We'll set this over to the side. Next thing. I have not used this yet because I haven't been in my shop yet. I can't get power up here yet. I'm waiting on uh, my power company to get my power to me. This is a metal cutting chop saw from Iron Town. It is pretty awesome. Again, I'll post links to all this stuff down in the video description. It comes with the blade for cutting metal, and this is super easy and a lot safer than using just a cutoff saw or what they call the death wheel on one of these grinders over here. So. We'll set this guy off to the side. As we show you more and more tools, you will start to see the reveal 
of the coolest thing in the background. We're talking Milwaukee Impact. This is a small Milwaukee Impact. All this stuff is the M18. I recommend for a guy that's gonna be, or a girl that's gonna be out there getting some work done on their property, I like the M18. They do make a lesser version of this. I think it's called the M12, I do believe, um, but I definitely recommend. And if you're gonna buy a drill, be sure you buy the hammer drill, okay? Because you can always use that. Now, that brings me to another specific tool that is a specific hammer drill. Where'd that go? This is the Milwaukee hammer drill right here, okay? And this again is the M18. This has an adjustable handle on it. This was instrumental in installing that lift that we just put on the uh, ground right over here in the mega shop. There's a little gauge, a depth gauge right here that you can set for the depth that you want your drill bit to go in. It takes a specialized drill bit that's made for drilling with a hammer drill, okay? So this is a hammer drill, and if you wanna step up your game, if your hubby or your wife already has a hammer drill, you can step up to that critter right there. Awesome, got a little light right there. You can't even see the light because the handle's in the way. There you go. Helps you see your work just a little bit better. Toss this to the side. Next thing that I really like from Northern Tool, and I picked this up myself just the other day, is this multiple battery charger pack. So you can put one, two, three, four, five, six batteries in here. What it does is it charges one battery, moves over to the next battery, next battery, next battery, next battery, and next battery. And that way you can charge all your batteries in one place at one time. Super easy, a good way to get organized with your tools in your shop. Okay, next, next up. And we're working our way to some really, really cool stuff. This again is another impact, I think. Is that the same impact I had in my hand a minute ago? Sure is. <laughs> All right, Milwaukee, 30 foot tape measure. Big fan of these Milwaukee tape measures. Super strong, they spring back appropriately. They do an absolutely fantastic job. The locking mechanism is there. This is a very affordable, fun gift. And anybody who is a tool fan would love to have one of these. You cannot have too many measuring tapes. You can keep one in each of your trucks, each of your side-by-sides, and each of your ATVs if you have a large property like I have here. Next thing is, this came in a kit, okay? This is the one Milwaukee radio right here. It's got Bluetooth capability. Super awesome to have in your shop if you wanna jam out while you're getting your work done. I like that. Moving right along to this side of the table, and we're saving the best for last, guys. Be sure you stick around. So we've got a tool set right here. If you don't own or don't have a ratcheting wrench set, this is on sale right now. It's called Gear Wrench. That's the brand. This is a ratcheting wrench set, 32 piece SAE and metric. Awesome guys. Ratcheting wrench set. I actually used this yesterday and what it has, it has these little bitty wrenches that are super handy because I am really world famous for gorilla gripping everything and I'll break off bolts. I will break off nuts on the ends of bolts. So these little handles make it nice and easy to get into tight spots and you also have the longer handled ones in here too. So awesome little organization thing. You can hang this on the wall in your shop and whenever you need to get a ratcheting wrench out, you can grab a ratcheting wrench. That is from Gear Wrench. Again, Northern Tool. Something that I really like, we've all seen reciprocating saws, or Sawzall, commonly known as a Sawzall. This is a reciprocating saw, but it's held with a handle, okay? Versus the old style that's like this with the reciprocating saw that comes out and does that number right there. You can actually hold this with a handle. And I do suggest that you use both hands when you're using this. Ask my buddy Brian about what shoulder surgery feels like when you use a reciprocating saw without using both hands. It'll jerk your shoulder off. This thing is a powerful piece of equipment and we use this for installing the water system here on the Stony Ridge Farm. This is awesome for cutting pipe, cutting metal pipe and cutting metal pieces. Cool, next thing, awesome. If you don't have a grinder, you ain't living right, okay? This is what we're gonna be using, and this has a sanding disc on it right here. This is what we're using for doing some automotive restorations here in the shop. You need a good grinder. Now I will say, I do have another brand of grinder just like this. It's a battery power grinder. The battery on this will outlast that other grinder, and I'm not gonna mention the name brand, but it'll outlast that other grinder maybe five times better. It does a super job. And the cool thing about these Milwaukee batteries, see that? tells you how much battery life you have. Full battery in this critter. Next, Milwaukee Impact. 
There's two different kinds of Milwaukee impacts that we have right here. This one is the half inch impact wrench and this one is the half inch square drive impact wrench. Awesome. You can hear the quality, okay? Listen, that is a quality piece of equipment. Again, this is the M18. How are our batteries doing? This one's looking pretty weak. We've only got one dot and this one is slap full. Again, for that tool attic, and everybody needs an impact wrench. I don't care if you're changing tires, whatever it is that you're doing in your garage, around your farm, around your property, you always need an impact. Whether you use a smaller impact like this or a larger, a little bit more expensive Milwaukee impact, just like that. Now, <laughs> I have yet to use this tool. This is a wonderful Milwaukee circular saw right here. Same thing, same battery system. If you stick with one brand of saw, one brand of cordless power tool, then you'll never ever have to be searching for batteries for every different brand of tool that you have. So this is an awesome piece of equipment. It does not have the blade in it yet. I have yet to use it here on the farm. However, we're getting ready to finish this entire room that you see right here. And this will be our farm office and where we sell our farm fresh beef right off the Stony Ridge farm. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and you'll know when we start selling farm fresh beef right off the farm. Now, to the goodies, to the coolest tools of all. Um, I love, 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 and this has given me so much service life. This is the Milwaukee um, Shop vac, it's a mini shop vac. The battery lasts quite some time. If you open it up, it's pretty neat. It's unique in that you have a storage compartment in the top of this for storing your hoses right there. All of your attachments, all those fit right in here on off switch right there. Just a quality piece of equipment. Again, this is from the M18 series on Milwaukee carts, work carts. When you have a shop building, when you have a place that you're working, it's really nice to be able to roll up to your toolbox and load all your stuff onto a cart, go to the job, get the job done, have it all right there accessible and put it all back up. We'll show you that in just a second. Now, guys, I love this thing. I absolutely love this. Wilton vise, multi-purpose vise. This thing is awesome. It rotates. So we'll loosen this guy up and you can tell we've got a couple vices on our work table right here. This is an awesome welding table that I built. I'll post a link at the end of this video to building this welding table. So you've got a vise that rotates in all directions. You have a vise with a uh, pipe clamp on it right here. Let's see if we can get this adjusted. You have a vise that we can rotate all the way around once we get it mounted up to our bench. And this isn't going on this bench. This is gonna go on the new shop benches that are gonna be in the back of this new workshop. Wilton vise. This is a heavy duty oh, multi-purpose vise. Check that critter out. You can beat on it like an anvil. You can beat on it. You can tie stuff up and you can put your pipe on there. Cool. We've got a similar vise on the other side of this bench. It would be nice to pair two of these up. So if you bought two, pair them up on either side, then you can take a piece of pipe and put it all the way across your bench and have something stable, a good stable work surface, a good stable work surface for sharpening those chainsaws and all that stuff. Wilton is widely regarded as some of the best vices made. Cool. All right, slide this over. We're saving the Honda for last. This is something I use and I've had on the farm for probably a year now. This is the Clutch brand, really heavy <laughs> impact set, okay? We're gonna flip this over, fold it out and get you guys a little bit better look inside. The Clutch brand impact set. Look at this guys, awesome, awesome stuff right here. So we've got the half inch drive right there and we have metric and we have SAE. Everything is labeled. This puts all of your impact drivers into a place where you don't have to juggle them inside your toolbox, which is super awesome. Now, typically what I'll do is I will write top on this and I will write bottom on that because I don't know how many of you guys have accidentally opened up a uh, tool set the wrong way. But we also know that the clutch emblem is right on the top right there. Awesome, awesome stuff. This is something that I use nearly every week on the farm when I'm working on equipment. 
Last but not least, the beauty, the thing of beauty, Honda. So this is an awesome Honda generator. We're gonna turn it around. We're gonna give you some of the ideas of the features of this ultra lightweight, super handy generator. It's very, very portable and it's super quiet. So as we rotate around, what we have here is the Honda Inverter Generator EU2200 Companion, which means that you can pair two of these generators up together. Okay, so if you pair these two generators up together, you'll get twice the power and you can run 220 right there. Isn't that awesome? So this would be something that you would use in the case of a power outage, or let's say you had a tractor or a piece of equipment out on your property and you needed to charge the battery. You could hook your battery charger to it. It has a very, very stable output okay that's what really makes a difference especially with today's modern appliances so if your power goes out and you put a cheap generator on your uh, refrigerator or on your computer it has the potential for damaging your computer that's where the honda inverter eu2200 generator comes into play you can catch this critter on sale i think i paid 12.99 for this critter right here again voltage 120 volt 15 amp, and if you look right here, again, you can do the companion generator right here, and you can effectively double your power. This is for during parallel operation. If you see right there, it says during parallel operation. Very, very cool. Awesome, we got some little circuit breakers right there. A few lights that say check oil, overload alarm, and output indicator, showing that it's working. Very, very neat. This is shipped without any oil in it easily accessed right there all you do is take a screwdriver loosen that panel up open her up and fill it up with oil very very cool i'm told and i don't know enough about honda generators to tell you but the oil alert check light will flash a certain number of times to tell you how many hours is on one of these generators very very cool let me show you how lightweight it is one-handed operation one-handed pickup set her down which brings us to another tool that I think every man or woman should have in their shop. Some good shop stools. This is from Northern Tool. Very, very comfortable, robustly built shop stool that we can use to sit down up here and actually get our work done without breaking our back at a good working height. Over here is another design for a Northern Tool shop bench. This, in my opinion, is more of a casual shop stool right here. Again, that is from Northern Tool unmistakably fully adjustable you got handles right here for adjusting another handle right here for adjusting and very similar to this stool all this stuff is about being ergonomic and getting your job done the right way the first time don't worry we're going to uncover that very soon so stick around let's go right over here you can see we've already got our cart loaded down this is the work cart that I wanted to show you guys. I just picked this up for using around this shop. And as you can see, the shop is massive. I need to be able to pull up to my toolbox and get the things that I need. It's all set up. You have, actually I have a cup holder right here for those beverages you might want to use in your shop. You've got bins for small parts right here. You've got this bin as a little work spot. You can always wipe this guy out or vacuum it out with that Milwaukee vacuum cleaner. And underneath here is a place for all of your small parts that you might frequently need. So let's say we're getting ready to install something electrical in our new pickup truck over here, right here, this Dodge Ram. If we're getting ready to do that, we can have all of our components right here in place. You also have a section right here you can put yourself a roll of paper towels or a roll of shop towels very very cool robust strong as an ox this is a very very nice work cart guys super inexpensive gift idea for that person that's always working that is our northern tool stony ridge farmer gift guide for 2022 guys it can serve as 2023 also this is an awesome gift guide for anybody who is a toolophile, meaning you just have a love for tools and you like to get out and work. Now, without further ado, let's go uncover the Yoda corn. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. This is a 1988 Toyota pickup. This is a extended cab, four wheel drive truck that I picked up from a fella 
that did a complete restoration. This truck only has right around 65,000 or 75,000 actual miles on it. What a thing of beauty. If you're a vintage Toyota guy, you gotta love this truck, you really do. Doors open crisp. Think about this in the 80s, everybody smoked. I've only got one little smoke injury in that seat right there. How many miles is on it? 75,000 actual miles on this Toyota truck. That is a very cool thing of beauty. Over in the corner is a 68 Bronco. That's a 93 Toyota, that's a 96 power stroke diesel over there and this is the unicorn dodge cummins dodge pickup that is a thing of beauty right there isn't it well guys thanks a lot for joining me here on the stony ridge farm channel i hope you really enjoyed this tool gift idea video from northern tool and stony ridge farm these are all awesome tools that you could pick up for that person that loves to do work work out get out in the shop and get things done or if it's just for yourself have your wife or your significant other wife husband whomever get yourself a gift card to northern tool guys post a comment down there tell me what you think what's your favorite tool out of all these tools Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. Please hit that like button, jump in, subscribe. We're going to be putting these tools to work soon. Thank you. Take care. Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! Here goes, man. I'm a little nervous about doing this. Welcome to the Stony Ridge Farmer. Christmas gift idea. <laughs> Stony Ridge <laughs> tool gift. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Let me do that one more time. Folks, welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm. Folks, folks, today, folks, in today, folks, in today. Oh, cool. And light goes out. Gift giving. <laughs> folks, <laughs> say it again. Folks, what? Folks, what? Folks, welcome. Folks, in gift giving mm, Shadowville, USA. Folks, today, folks, today, mm. folks, today, folks, 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 we are gonna have a blast. Hope you guys enjoy. There we go.